guys, so I'm back with a huge haul video. Actually, it's pretty humongous haul and I want to show you something very beautiful that I'm looking at. Look at this gorgeous bird. And another beauty is the apple tree. You know, it was rainy and gray and just disgusting and I thought what better way to cheer yourself up than doing some beauty shopping. So I actually went to buy Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and as it happens I ended up with a bag full of drugstore items. I've been drugstore shopping, um, you know, past couple of weeks. I have two big bags of drugstore products which makes me very excited. Most of the stuff is from Drogas. At the moment they're having a really amazing sale. Like almost everything in the shop is on sale. I'm gonna just go in random order and show you guys what I got today. So I needed some cotton pads and I usually use, you know, simple cotton rounds. But I got these bigger ones, maxi um, pads. I usually use micellar water, so I don't use two separate products for eyes and face. But at the moment, I've been using coconut oil for removing my makeup. So I'm just going to use coconut oil and then wipe my face with one of these pads. Two sponges for the face. These are very handy for removing a face mask. These are two plastic nail brushes. So I'm going to use one of them for my nails and then I also wear retainers because I used to have braces so you know retainers have to be cleaned every single day so I'm gonna use one for that then I got foot um, pumice stone whatever that means but it's just you know like a foot stone I don't know I haven't tried any of this kind so I'm gonna give it a go nail buffer this is four-way buffer rock so it has you know, different steps for polishing, for not polishing, for buffing your nails. I got this body glove for the shower or for for my baths. Um, then another thing I got, I saw this on sale and I was like, oh my god, I needed foot salt with honey and milk. Oh my god. But yeah, it just smells really lovely because now it's a bit too concentrated, you know, on the scent is intense. It was the perfect timing going there to the shop today because I'm just running out of this organic shop, organic rosemary and milk bath sugar. I have just a tiny bit left and I needed a new one and this was reduced to like 2 euros and it was the only one left so I'm just extremely happy about that. It's very fine, you know, it's not like not like bath salt. It just smells very milky and delicate. I kind of feel like Cleopatra when I take a bath with this. Then, of course, I got Lor um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It's currently f sold for 4 euros, which is like crazy cheap. And I found the last one in transparent. So this is just like the palest color. And this is such a great powder. I got this new thing that I saw in the shop. It's uh, from... It's by Superdrug and it's tea tree spot stick with natural tea tree and peppermint oils, um, paraben free. And it was again a couple of euros. And uh, my skin has broken out a little bit. I have a couple of pimples like on my chin and I have a bigger pimple here on my cheek. So overall my skin is pretty good but you know I do tend to have occasional pimples. So I got this one to try out. Actually it looks... <laughs> just like a lip gloss it Smells nice. So I'm gonna see whether this works or not. Okay, moving on to this bag I got L'Oreal sublime body body balm. It's actually not a cream. I tried it already It has a very nice scent cannot really describe it um, But I would not say it's any you know, it's not fantastic. It didn't make my skin feel any better than other body lotions. I do prefer some other body lotions, so I don't know. Batiste Original Dry Shampoo. This one I got in Eurocos. And I like this dry shampoo. I like the scent of it. It's non-offensive at all. And sometimes you just don't have time to wash your hair. Or even on, my, on the second day, I wash my hair every second day. So on the second day, it's... My hair gets a bit flat and like limp, so I like to add some volume and it's great, I really like it. 
Uh, although if you have dark hair, I would probably go for the colored ones. We don't have colored ones here, so I don't know. If I think on darker hair, it can leave a white cast, so be aware of that. But for blondes, it's all good. Then I got this one. It, it's a new thing here. I've seen these, but I never saw them in Lithuania before. So it's by the brand Isana, and um, these are just you know nail polish remover pads so they are already soaked in nail polish remover and I got this for traveling because it's great it's tiny you don't need to take you know pads and the nail polish remover and it's just a handy thing to have it was like one euro fifty then I got two Maybelline color sensational lip glosses because now every youtuber talks about them I have this color on my lips right now and I have to say they deserve all the praise they get. These are just incredible lip glosses. I don't like any other color. So I have uh, Coffee Kiss, which as I said is on my lips right now. It looks like an ugly brown color, but believe me it's not. It's like a very nice, as you see, like neutral color that would go with any makeup look. It's fantastic. And the other one I absolutely love and I got compliments for you guys, from you guys when I wore it in my videos. This is Cashmere Rose. I don't know why it's called that. It should be called like Cashmere Peach because it's like a very peachy color. These are so beautiful. The texture is incredible. They have zero stickiness. They smell really lovely. They are very comparable to Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors but only for the fraction of the price. These were like six euros, currently on offer as well. So grab those because they're incredible lip glosses. I purchased my L'Oreal Lumi Magique concealer, which I'm already using for my under eyes because it's my third one, I believe, my favorite under eye concealer, but I run out so quickly, it doesn't last very long. I don't know whether it's true or not, but for me, it seems like they are discontinuing Maybelline the Falsies mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras. And because I can only find it in a couple of shops, not all of the beauty stores. Um, so, you know, they're kind of slowly creeping out of the shops. And I went to Cosmoda to look for one and they were 50% off, which kind of proves my point that they are discontinuing the mascara. Let me guys know whether it's true or not. I got two of them as they were, as I said, 50% off. So one was like five euros. This is Falsies Flared and uh, Falsies Black Drama, which I think is Tanya Burr's favorite. I'm currently using Falsies with the like light blue writing. This is just a great mascara. So, you know, I got two of them in case they are discontinuing it. Okay, now moving on to hair care. So I got these L'Oreal El Vital Fibral Fibrology, I don't know how to say that. And they're supposed to volumize your hair, make it thicker and make it just, you know, volumize from within. My hair feels thicker, but I cannot say my hair feels volumized. It just feels a bit thicker because of, you know, some kind of ingredient. I got John Frieda Luxurious Volume volume building mousse because my friend Leka she recommended this to me she said it's a really lovely volumizing product I never tried volumizing mousses I think and I liked it again I have to use it more to you know form an opinion on it but so far I like it it doesn't weight my hair down Corinne de Femme um, this is ultra detangling spray without parabens 97% natural origin I'm not sure if that's true and it's just basically a detangling spray for kids but I love that it has um, Rapunzel from Tangled. It smells really bad, you know, it's like sweeties for kids. Just a very fake, not a very lovely scent, like fake strawberries or something. And it does nothing. It doesn't make your hair easier to brush out, it doesn't detangle your hair, it's just a waste of money. I'm glad it wasn't expensive but you know, I thought it's gonna work because I have super tangled hair, but it doesn't. Okay, then I got this um, Dove Nutritive Solutions Nourishing Oil Care with Weightless Argan Oil Blend, um, just a hair mask, because it looked lovely. Uh, I don't know, I like the packaging and it smells good. Kind of smells like macadamia um, mask and it looks like macadamia mask almost. 
So I'm hoping this will be good. So yeah, I'll let you guys know whether I like this mask or not. I saw this new range from Garnier and I saw that it's honey range. So without even thinking, I grabbed all of the products. So I got the entire range. Um, this is shampoo, conditioner and mask. And I've tried them all already. And they're currently as their new products on offer for like um, 2 euros each. Mask is like 3 euros. The prices are ridiculous. I feel like buying a couple more just to stock up as they're currently so inexpensive because I'm in love with this range. Like it's bloody amazing. So it has a really pretty golden bee on the packaging and anything that has honey in it will get me sold. And these are paraben free, strengthens, protects, detangles uh, your hair for fragile breaking hair which is exactly like my hair type. And they smell incredible, like I'm just so obsessed with anything that smells like honey, if I haven't said that already. But the thing that I love is that after washing your hair, the scent lingers. So I just catch myself throughout the day, like sniffing my hair because it smells so delicious. And like, it's this very warm, cozy and delicate, beautiful scent, you know, like milk and honey. And all of the products not only smell beautiful, they are fantastic. Like they make my hair so silky and soft and the mask is just incredible. I tried it once and it made my hair like very slippery and smooth. So um, I highly, highly recommend this range and I will probably go and buy some more because as I said, it's, these products are wonderful and cannot say enough good things about them. This is L'Oreal Skin Perfection Radiance Revealing Gentle Exfoliator. Because I finished my John Masters Organics Cleanser and I felt like I need some scrubby face wash. So this is not abrasive at all. I think you can use it every single day and it smells like peaches. It makes washing your face feel so pleasurable because it smells beautiful. And then the last thing is Dove Fine Silk Caring Cream Bath with white orchid and patchouli. I used it a couple of times in my bath. It makes your bath smell so good. It's again very warm, very kind of luxurious, almost like a spa scent. After taking the bath, your skin feels so soft and smooth and hydrated and I'm hooked on this product. Highly recommend if you're a bath lover like I am. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this humongous drugstore haul. I guess I'll talk to you soon. Bye.